Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hello there. Welcome. I have a question for you. Are you happy? It's kind of a weird question, huh? Are you happy? You know, you think, you know, is that something that you have to work towards? Is that something that is difficult to attain? Or is that something that could just be an instant change in a mood that just changes your whole perception on the day, the life, the week, the month, the year, the situation that you may be in? That's a question I want to pose to you today is, are you happy? What I've seen in my experience is being sad, depressed, changed in a mood, angry, upset, uh, disappointed. It does nothing but just take you off a of focus of how or where you're trying to go to. And what I've seen is just changing that whole mentality, just being in that mood of being happy. You know, whether it be just something that happened that day that just went, yes, I'm excited, or maybe I got a, a new sale at the beginning of the morning, just woke up to a, a new payment in my uh, PayPal or something, you know? So a lot of things can just change your mood in an instant that makes you happy. And what I've seen is that if I had been in a happy mood, deals just start coming in, uh, clients start calling in, and just good karma just starts going and flowing. And it's just, um, I like it. It's, it's uh, something that you can actually just become at any moment that you want to. So it's not something that you really have to work towards. It's a, it's a mood change and a lot, anything could to change your mood. Um, so that, that's what I want to post to you today is, is are you happy? Because you have to work towards making sure that you're happy as much as you can, because that's the only way that you can be successful is making sure you're in a positive mindset. You have to be excited you have to be passionate about your product or your service that you're promoting and you need to be happy you know people want to do business with happy people i mean since when do you see somebody that's depressed or sad and you just say man that's someone i want to just hang out with all day and i just want to uh spend more time with or i want to do business with that person i just want to be rubbing shoulders with that guy no you see the person that's super energetic and just living life and happy and you're just like i want to be that guy i want to be that girl whatever you know it's just like you change a mentality so let's let's do some stuff on that today just focus on being happy um, I'm happy uh, for a lot of different reasons uh, last night was a big expo event for us uh, if you were watching PLS tips with Manny last week uh, I was talking about the expo that was coming up this week uh, which came out uh, we did it yesterday and I showed you guys I gave away uh, TV uh, which was uh, interesting um, I was surprised on a, on a few different levels, which I'll, I'll go into in a little bit. But um, if you didn't see last week's uh, PLS tips, go ahead and jump on my YouTube channel, which should be right here, if I'm pointing correctly. I uh, should have uh, the PLS tips logo and the Facebook and, and a YouTube link. So the Facebook link right to my profile. So if you guys want to add me on Facebook as a friend, go ahead and do that. And that way you guys can see all of my latest uh, postings and, uh, you know, sharings, coachings, you know, all of the stuff that I do for my business and local events and stuff like that. I always have some events that I'm doing. So, you know, if you guys are local, that'd be cool to come on down and, and be able to show some love there. But uh, uh, that's what calls. It's going to be blown up all day today. I'll tell you why. Because yesterday... We pulled in over a hundred freaking business cards. Awesome. 
So it's pretty good. Definitely uh, broke my goal and surpassed it by about 30%, which is really awesome, uh, which I'm really excited about. And my phone's going to be blown up all day from people from this event last night, which is great. Uh, um, the TV thing was really weird because I had people that I would go up to and I'd be like, hey, we're giving away a TV. All you need to do is give us your business card. And they're like, nah, I'm good. And I'm like, what? I mean, what? your business card's got more value than a TV? I mean, Come on, it's TV, man, free TV. You can give it away, you can sell it, you can keep it, you can do what you want with it, man. It's a free TV. But um, I guess some people just were not interested in that. So I just flipped it around real quick, and I was just like, all right, great. Well, what kind of business are you in? You know, and they're like, oh, yeah, I mean, blah, 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 and whatnot. And so uh, I turned in about a dozen people from a no to a TV giveaway to a yes, here's my business card. Talk to me more about your Facebook stuff or something. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. I thought for sure everyone would be like, oh, free TV, here's my business card. You know, that's what I do. Shoot, anytime I see something free like that, it's a freaking business card. Come on. A thousand of them cost like 30 bucks. So what's the big deal? Uh, anyways, and I know if you get started getting spammed a lot or something, I mean, I don't spam people. I only, you know, email maybe once every couple of weeks or something. But um, I heard people spam like daily. It's crazy. But, anyways, uh, back to being happy. So, being happy, yes, it's just a mindset. It's literally just a change in your mood that says, I want to be happy. I'm going to be happy today. I'm just going to do something positive. If you just stay in that positive mindset, positive things are going to happen. You stay in a negative mindset, negative things are going to happen. So just stay in a positive mindset. You say, you sit there and you be like, you know, if it, I'm going to be happy today. This is going to be a great day. Things are just going to go my way. And uh, what what's funny is that whenever... I get in that kind of mindset and things don't start going my way. What I do is I just kind of brush it off like, haha, you know, life, you're just really trying to mess with me today. Not today. You ain't getting into my mood. You ain't going to mess up my mojo. You ain't flowing my dough. You know, I don't know, whatever. Coming up with funny stuff. So, you know, you got to uh, just go with it and just think of everything as being funny and and exciting and, and laughing and just stay happy. It's, I don't know. It's just. If you want to be happy, you just be happy. You just go out there and you just make a change in your mindset. And you just say, you know what? I'm not going to be in a negative mood today. I don't care what bad that's happening around my life. I'm going to stay positive because if I'm staying positive, it's going to be a domino effect of more positive things. And that's how you're going to get out of that negative strut because you notice when you start thinking negative all the time, negative things happen. You know, you're like, Oh, what's going to be bad happen today? Oh, man, I know something's going to go bad today. And then, bad, something bad happened. You're like, ah, oh, see, you know, I knew something bad was going to happen. Oh, it sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Life sucks and whatever. I'm never going to make any money in my business. Oh, these people that say they're going to call me, they don't call me, you know. They say call me at this time and they don't answer their phone. I know it's always going to happen. See what happens when I don't answer. And I don't, this is why I don't like calling people and picking up the phone and da, 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 da. It's like, you just put yourself in that negative mindset. But when you go into it and you say, you know, this person pick up, perfect. Now that gives me a better chance to reach out to more people. Another new person that didn't know about my opportunity. That person, I'll leave that message. They'll call me back when they have a chance. Hey, maybe they got a phone call from someone looking to buy their product or service. Hey, you know, your business has got to take care of business, right? So I always just give it into something positive. And what's funny is my wife is like so negative. You know, she's like the, the exact opposite of me, which is not... You know, normal how your your uh, significant other is typically an opposite, um, which I love it because it's like I mean, well, sometimes, but uh, when she gets negative, she's like, she brings me down to, she kind of evens me out because when I look at an opportunity or I'm working on a new project or something like that, I'll go and I get excited about it and I just start talking about it and I start looking at all the possibilities. Oh man, what if this happens and this happens? Like for the event, you know, I was uh, thought about the TV and I'm like, man, what if happened? everybody in the whole event comes and gives me their business card? And I was like, oh man, just going crazy, just thinking about the possibilities of what could happen. And, uh, and she always just brings me back to my level. She'll come and be like, man, you just like, just don't stop thinking so much because you're going to be like all disappointed when it doesn't happen and, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, you're kind of right, but. You know, then if I'm thinking that nothing will happen, then I'm just being negative the whole time. But then she's like, yeah, but then when it does happen, you're positive. I'm like, well, who wants to be negative the whole time and then be positive just at the end, you know, if something good happens? And then what if nothing happens? And then, bam, you're just negative the whole time. That just sucks. I'd rather be positive all the time, be happy, and then all of a sudden be negative. I'd rather take the, you know, blow at the end. So, but uh, 
I always, you know, think positive, and somehow it just it always turns out to be a something I can look positive about. I, I rarely can look at a, a situation and think, oh man, there's just nothing good that came out of this. Nothing, and it's uh, it's rare for me. And um, you know, for my wife, you know, she's always looking at the negative only. She'll she'll see all this positive around it, but be like, yeah, but look at that. What happened there? And I'm like, really, with all this around here that's positive, you're gonna be like, what? So I'm like, ah, whatever, you know. But anyway, so I always come looking positive and, and somehow just it just keeps snowballing into something more better and better as long as I'm staying happy. And uh, when I start throwing negative out there, it um it just it just gets to a point where you're just mad about everything and, and then you're just mad at everyone. And it's dumb. What's the point of that? That sucks. You know, who wants to live a life like that, right? You know, I'm not me. I wanna I want to be happy. I want to be excited. My my kids, you know, they're growing up around me all the time. They're excited. They're always happy. I mean, that's what's cool about kids. You know, there's always they just never they're never mad. You know, they're they're always got something to be happy about, unless they're they're uh, they're throwing a tantrum and stuff. But you know, but there there's always something. They they can't go a whole day without being happy, excited about something. You know, they've got an imagination that just keeps them creative, that wants to um, just create and design and and be different and and, uh, and just explore. I like that stuff about them. Um, another thing I'm happy about, I want a freaking wine. <laughs> that was cool. The guy next to me, um, the booth next to me, they were giving away a bunch of wines, like three to four different wines. Uh, and, uh, and I won. They picked my business card. That's what I like about this thing. You just go out and you just give out your business card and... Yeah, I'll just get a bunch of emails from people, but hey, you just if they're not valuable, then you just unsubscribe. Big deal. It takes two seconds. Wow. You know, or make a filter on your Gmail or something that says, hey, anybody that comes in through this email now, just filter it out. But um, I don't know. I don't know. People just take their email so serious <laughs> about like, oh my god, just set up a dumb email that's like, here's my you know, expo email or something that you could just give away because you just never know what you, I mean, I've won like a hundred dollars in gift cards, not gift cards, but like Visa cards. I've won wine bottles. I've won uh, knife sets. I won all kinds of cool stuff at these events. Love it. But, um, you know, people just like, uh, so, I don't know. They're just weird. They're just like, no, no, no. My business card is mine. You can't have it. It's not for you. Okay. <laughs> all right. But then I was just like, hey, you're lost, you know, whatever. Someone else is going to win it. I got over a hundred people that, uh, that submitted their stuff and uh, it's great. So. Oh yeah, here's the big winner right here. Bow! GCPT, the place for full body detox. She was a massage therapist. What's funny is that she was giving out free massages. And um, I'll tell you guys, there's a massage person there. I didn't, you know, don't quote me on that, but, you know, I don't know if she'll be there. She was there. So, uh, and my uh, son was actually the one who got her business card. Because I had my a couple of assistants there and they were, um, so they put their name on it and stuff like that. It's funny, I have a, a cousin named Nancy. Uh, she was my assistant there, uh, one of my assistants, and then my wife there, Nancy. And uh, it's funny, some people get confused. But um, yeah, so then she wrote their names on it. So everyone that didn't have their names was from my my sons because they went around uh, asking for business cards. They just get a little bucket like uh, like that over there. I don't know if you can see it, but um, just a little clear bucket. Just walk around. Hey, we're giving away a free uh, TV. Throw in your business card, and then um, you know every time they. Uh, give a business card, then I give them mine, or you know my sons will give them mine, and so they'd be, it works out pretty well. So they'll just go and they'll they'll pass out my card and they'll say, hey, go to my website and uh, and be able to check out what I do. And on the back of my card, I'll put the different services I have. So it just gets them interested. So and that may have been you know someone that was calling earlier uh, from the event. I'm pretty sure it was a first time caller. Um, usually those are from events that I do. So. But anyways, back to being happy. Yeah, you just got to be happy, man. Make the decision. Stop being negative. It's dumb. Um, it doesn't make any sense, you know. I know a lot of people just, you know, they always look at the bad things in life. And, you know, if you just, for one day, just try to challenge you. Just try one day. Wake up. Instead of snoozing it, okay, literally jump out of bed. Because they say just by uh, snoozing it and, and taking that extra five minutes, you may think that, oh, I'm getting an extra rest. No, you're actually making yourself more sleepy because when you actually wake up, the quicker you're up out of bed, the quicker your body's going to realize, hey, I need to start going. We got, we got, we're starting, you know, but if you snooze, your body's going to like, oh, okay, let's, let's go back to relax. Let's go. Then you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm driving. Oh man, I hate waking up. It sucks. You know, whatever. 
But if you just jump up, like I do, and I just jump up right out of bed, and go in the bathroom, splash a cup of some water on your face, and just you know wake up, and all of a sudden you're gonna just gonna jump up. And I just go get a nice cold bottle of ice water and just down as much as I can, just, ooh, just get the body flowing, you know. Um, but then just try that, and then think positive thoughts. Get in front of a mirror and just do some positive affirmations if you have to. You just tell yourself today's gonna be a great day. Uh, clients are going to be calling me today. I'm going to talk to 50 people or, you know, I'm going to email X amount of people. I'm going to talk to uh, five different people about my opportunity today or, you know, just make a decision, make a very small goal that, that you can eat, that you can hit. So that way it's, it's known that you can keep yourself positive. You don't want to make yourself too strenuous on the challenge. Um, to start off with, if you're you know always negative or something, because you're just gonna give yourself, ah, I just didn't hit it, or it was too difficult to hit. Just go something small. You let, just say, I'm gonna talk to ten people today. I'm gonna call ten people uh, about my opportunity. Uh, whether they answer or not, I'm gonna leave a message. But I'm gonna call ten people and introduce them to what I have to what I have to offer. That's it. Just do that and do it every day. Why not? Ten people. How hard is that? Ten phone calls to make new ten people just about your business just say alright and just make a little script and make a little thing saying alright let's just work it out right now F it alright let's do it uh, alright so if we're gonna call 10 people and you guys uh, let's go for power lead system so let's say let's, uh, let's go on the fly here alright so I'm gonna call someone and say hey Mike blank uh, how's it going Uh, what's new? Ask them some questions about them, of course. But say, hey, I wanted to chat with you. Oh, no, here, I got this perfect thing. Okay. I wrote this down yesterday. It came to my head. All right. So, using something like, does that ring a bell? Okay. So, let's say, let's say, ah, uh, da 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 da. Maybe you posted something on Facebook about PLS. I don't know. Think of something that maybe they could have related to. That hey, does that ring a bell? So they yeah 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 that rings a bell. Great 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 great. All right. So say something like, if you have sixty seconds, I like to share. I share an idea with you. You got a minute? It's just so hey, if just one minute. You give me one minute every time. You know, if you have sixty seconds, I'd like to share an idea with you. You got a minute? Who's gonna say no? Just say, hey, I got uh, this power lead system thing. I'm trying out this new opportunity. I don't know. Well, you know, you guys can think of stuff how you want to approach it as either a customer or an affiliate. Most times you're going to say it as an affiliate, you know, talk to them about the uh, the opportunity. Hey, um, I don't know. You just come up with stuff to say, hey, I'm working this new home based business, very part time. You know, you may or may not be interested. I don't know. Are you interested in making some extra money from home? You know, would you be interested in uh, a secondary income that you can have running on autopilot, residual, you know, or something maybe? Have you heard of residual income? There you go. Start off like that. There you go. I have a great idea with you. Uh, I got 60 seconds. I don't know. How did I say it? I wrote it down, so I have to keep coming back to it. <laughs> if you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share an idea with you. You got a minute? Yeah, yeah, I got a minute. Have you heard of residual income? Residual income. Either they're gonna say yes or no. You know the no. They're like, okay, let me tell you what it is. It's basically you sell something one time, and you get paid again and again. What's up, little man? What's up? You got school, man. All right, go play. Huh? You hungry? Okay, I'm almost done. I have to record. Let me see how much time I have. Uh, I'm 18 minutes in. Give me like five minutes. Here's your medicine. <laughs> ice cream? Okay, we'll give you some ice cream. We'll give you some ice cream at uh, 9.21 in the morning. <laughs> Love you. Okay, don't argue with me. <laughs> this gets crazy. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. Duh, I was saying something. Uh, what was I talking about? I, know I was saying something. 
It's going to come to me. Give me like 10 seconds, I swear. <sighs> I was talking about... Why am I so drawing a blank? This is crazy. Imagine if I was live right now. I could edit this out, but I'm probably not going to. Seriously, how am I drawing a blank? This is crazy. Alright, we were talking about being happy. And then, what else were we talking about? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not good. Oh yeah, we were doing the thing. Duh, I'm writing it. I'm just right in front of my face. I just have to look at my screen. Okay, so we're writing out this little script here. Okay, so we're talking about residual income. Yes, that's where we go. Okay, so residual income. Uh, when they say no, okay, I don't know what residual income is. Okay, let me tell you what residual income is. It means you introduce something to somebody once and they buy it, right? Residual income means you get paid again and again over and over again for introducing that person to it one time. Does that make sense? I always ask them, does that make sense? Because you, you have to clarify that it makes sense to them. Otherwise, they're just going to say, no, it does not make sense. It just went over my head. And then you have to make sure you clarify with them because you just keep continuing. They're going to be still not understanding what residual income was. So make sure you clarify everything with them. So does that make sense? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. So I, I sell it once and I get paid again and again every single month. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I like that. that. That sounds good. So yeah, that's what this new business opportunity that I'm doing or this is new um, affiliate program I'm working with or whatever you want to call it, this new company that I'm working with, um, that's how I'm getting, I'm using the system to grow my business from home. And that same system I'm using is paying me to work from home. It's cool. I'm using the system, it's paying me to use it. And uh, it's, it's its own system. You can use it to promote any business, so you can talk to somebody. I mean, you guys know people that own businesses or that know that work from home. Just call 10 people and just introduce them to it. Just say, hey, you've heard of residual income, right? No? Okay, let me tell you about it. Or yes? Yeah, so you know that it, that you know you just introduce something once and they get paid again and again. So you, even if they do say yes, just give them a quick recap. I mean, a five-second recap. Yeah, so you know that you know you get paid again and again just for selling something once. Yeah, of course, right? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, so this thing I'm doing, it's called the Power Lead System. And have you heard of it? It's made by Priceless Possibilities. No, I haven't heard of it. Yeah, yeah, it's and you, Priceless Possibilities, and the same company that builds custom sales funnels for Tony Robbins. You know that guy, right? Yeah, of course I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, oh, it's funny. I met um, I met somebody last night who is uh, Tony Robbins, ther no, not therapist, doctor or something. I think doctor. Um, a friend that a friend of her, what you know, friend of the doctor of Tony Robbins or something like that, and um, so she gave me some insight on the guy. It was funny, but uh, I won't share it. I'm not a gossip or nothing, but uh, it's funny. So anyway, so yeah, so that's what I always leave with. I was like, yeah, you know, Priceless Possibilities made it, and uh, and they're the same company that built custom sales funnels for Tony Robbins, and they're like, oh wow, that's really cool. Uh, I was like, yeah, so yeah, it just comes with everything. It does is, you know, email marketing. It does all this kind of cool stuff. But anyways, I want to show you um, how you can make money from it. It's very, very simple. And, you know, you just introduce people to like I'm doing to you right now. And they're like, oh, wow, that's cool. Interesting. You know, let me check out the information. So I'll just send them right to my website. I'll just send them a link to it. Text it to them. I'll email it to them. Send it to them on Facebook. And then follow up with them the next day. You know, you know don't just let them sit on it because they're not going to call you back on it you know if they unless they get super excited about it you get that all the time but you know you get people that will watch it and they'll be like oh that's cool that's cool interesting and they'll get distracted something will happen they'll have life you know people get distracted with stuff so follow up the next day and just say hey um or make sure you just tell them up front with it hey i'm gonna show you this video um and i'll hit you up tomorrow about it and uh, see what your thoughts on it or i'll hit you up after you've watched the video i mean I don't like to rush people. I always tell them I'll hit you up tomorrow. So uh, give them the opportunity to say, hey, if I'm not busy right now, unless you know they say they have the time right now, if you've got 10 minutes to watch this video, you know, I don't know, just be straight up. Just be very honest with people. Stop. You know, I hate when people say, hey, I got this in the show, but I can't tell you about it over the phone. I need you to come to my house and, you know, and sit down for like four hours and I'll tell you about it. And I'm like, whoa, no. <laughs> um, just tell me about it over the phone, man. I, I like, I don't have time, you know. You know, just tell me, just give me something about it. If I'm interested, yeah, we can talk more about it. But uh, I don't have time to sit there for like four hours to look at an opportunity and, you know, maybe something I've already seen 500 times already. So, um, 
you know, you just got to be straight up with people. I'm th as honest as I can be. I just tell them, hey, man, I want to show you this thing. Uh, if you got 10 minutes, I'm going to shoot it over to you in your inbox. Um, what's your email or what's your phone number or what's your phone, what's your uh, you want? I was kind of text it to you or what's your Facebook? I'll, I'll send it to you on your Facebook. So just give them uh, just just be straight up and just tell them this is what it is. This is what I'm doing with it. This is how I'm working it for my business. Uh, this is how it's being successful for me or whatever. Just get up and just tell them this is what we do and uh, and see how see what happens. You know. What well, what's the worst happen? They say no, and you're back to where you were, or you get three, four people out of that ten to say yes, and bam, you've got three or four new clients every day. You can do that, guys. So just do ten people a day, ten people. Pick ten people out of your phone list. I mean, for me, that would be very easy because I this could last years. <laughs> Let me show you why. All right, so here's my numbers. Right, let's just keep going. Right. Bam, bam, bam. And that's just the A's, by the way. We're still in A's. Okay, we just hit B's. Uh, we're still in B's. C's. Keep going. Keep going. Keep C's, C's. So, yeah, I've got enough. i got at least uh, probably a couple hundred in each letter. <laughs> Crazy, man. But for me, it's um, I just data mine. That's what you got to do. Anybody that contacts you about your business contact you by anything save their information in your phone save that contact um, I save it in my Gmail so even if I lose my phone because everybody is like I lost my phone I have no contacts everybody's gonna send me their phone number again I'm gonna start all over what the no stupid get a Gmail account get a Gmail and freaking freaking put all your contacts in Gmail man they're always gonna be there um, I've been saving them in Gmail for years and as you can see I obviously didn't get this phone yesterday or five five years ago um, no, I had that phone just a couple months. So, yeah, man, do that. Just data mine people. Just you got to data mine. You got to talk to people. You got to literally get them on the phone. It doesn't matter. You got to talk to just literally. I mean, if you could do that to ten people, I want to challenge. It. I want to see what results people can get. Talk to ten people a day for the next week. Call ten people for seven days, Saturday and Sunday. I don't care, man. Well, if I mean Sunday, maybe not if you're you know going to church and stuff like that. Um, some people don't want to work on Sunday. I don't like working on Sunday. I don't even like working on the weekends. But I'll call 10 people on a Saturday. Why not? 10 people. That's, it takes you not that long at all. So, yeah. Because uh, I call like 100 people a day. You know, when I actually call people. But sometimes I'll just have a lot of people coming in. But, um, you know, if you're struggling in your business, you got to get out there and you got to make it move. You got to do things. And just start off with that. 10 people a day and see what happens. Okay. So let's see what the goes. Uh, I think that's enough training for today. Keep these pretty short. You know, less than 30 minutes. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. I know you guys are busy. You know, now go and start calling people. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's like 10 o'clock on a lot of your guys' things. It's like 7 o'clock on my time. So you can call a bunch of people. But uh, if you're calling like residential, you know, you're not calling business people. Uh, call them like after 7. After 7 o'clock at night. So this way, uh, it's after they've gotten home. Um, they may have just about to get dinner ready or something. I don't know. It just it's a good time to call them and set up a time for that, or call them and just say, "Hey, got a couple minutes. I just want to run something by you, uh, real quick, 60 seconds, just a minute. If it's something that you like, we can. Uh, if you you don't have a lot of time to talk right now, we can talk tomorrow about it. Or I'll just shoot you the information. You can check it out when you have some time tonight, and I'll talk to you tomorrow about it and whatever. Just but it's it's generating leads for you. Ten new people a day that you can talk to, and I know you know at least ten people that you can call. So just find 10 people, and if you don't, man, talk to me. I'll send you 10 people to call. I've got thousands of leads. Just, you know, whatever. I'll send you some people you can call. Um, but, man, call 10 people, all right? Let me know. All right, so we've got seven days, 10 people. That's 70 people that you need to contact. So ten. just take it as 10 people a day. Don't look at it as 70 because that may look like a big number to you, okay? 10 people a day, and start tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is what? Friday, right? All right. Call 10 people Friday, 10 people Saturday, if you want, 10 people on Sunday, then 10 people Monday, and then Tuesday and Wednesday. And then post it in the uh, the thing here. I want to see who's going to actually do it. Okay, so post it in the comments below saying, I'm going to do this, Manny. I'm going to commit to my 10 people a day. All right? I'm going to do it. Okay? Commit. Write it in there because I want to see you guys do it. Okay? I'm tired of people being lazy and not doing it. Do it. Make it happen. Okay? I give you guys some 
some guidance. Let's do this. And I want to see if we can get some results. Okay. And I want to see what those results are. We're going to see what's going to happen next week. I'm going to be calling a lot more people than 10 a day because I got to get through these hundred and plus ton people. Uh, I got a cool idea. Check this out. So I went to an ex my expo last night and I had a lot of people that didn't have business cards. I get that a lot every time I go to an expo event. I'm like, hey, we're giving away free Facebook training or something. Um, put in your business card. I'm like, oh, I didn't bring no business card. I'm like, who comes to an expo event? They don't bring their dang business cards. Anyways, so I got this little uh, message thing, you know, that, you know, you give to an assistant and stuff like that. So I had uh, had people just filling out their information on, on these things. I had a bunch of them, like 10 of them. Those are 10 people I wouldn't have gotten, wouldn't have information on, that now I've got, bam, name, email, and phone number, sucker. So yeah, I'll just be calling these people up, like, hey, yo, it's Manny, you guys giving away the TV, remember? You know me, right? Does that ring a bell? And they're going to be like, yeah, yeah, that rings a bell. That's awesome. Like, yeah, I got 60 seconds. Let me tell you about this thing. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share an idea with you. It's a great thing. I hand-selected you. I like to do that. I, like, I hand-selected you. Because I do. I'll go through these cards, and I'll say, you know, nah, this is not going to be a good business for me to work with. And I'll go, ooh, this would be a perfect business. I like this type of thing. And I'll look them up online, check out the website. Like, ooh, they need a new website. Or, hey, they need a new Facebook. Or, you know, I, was, I can just show them some different ways I can help. Hey, they need maybe they need a commercial. Who doesn't need a new commercial, right? Everybody. Even if they have 100 commercials. Man, another commercial, right? Whatever. All right, so let's, uh, let's do that. So let's see committed. And so, all right, maybe we're hitting over 30 minutes. All right, so I'll see you guys next week. Again, hit that comments below. Let me know you're going to be there because I'm going to be watching tonight. I'm going to see who's going to be uh, committing to their 10 a day for the next seven or six days or whatever. Uh, whatever you guys want to work it out. But commit to seven, no, 10 people a day. All right, talk to you uh, next week. And you guys know how to reach me. Facebook, YouTube up there or up there, wherever it's going to be at. I'm pretty sure it's on the site. I'm pretty sure. 99% sure. We're going to say it. We're going to find out. Because once I edit all this, I'll see where I'm pointing. All right, guys. Let's have some fun. Be happy. I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye. Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com.